Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode 48 of Ocean Block. That's right. We're back here today, and we're going to be diving in to the deep end of the mechanism. At least we're going to attempt it. <laughs> so, uh, have been busy upgrading things. Um, I did stuff. And uh, let's, let's see. Um, first, I did power the power pot. Um, oh my goodness, it, it eats power. It eats power like crazy. Uh, it says in here, So this is our Mach 1, uh, Mark 1 power pot. Um, what does it say? How much it consumes? Um, it doesn't. Uh, is it in the quest book that, that says it? That was in miscellaneous. Upgraded botany pot that runs on FE, 50k a tick, and output 16 times normal botany pot, and is 20% faster. So it does produce 16 draconium, because that's what I have planted uh, every time it cycles through. So that's really cool. It's going to help our draconium levels, because uh, I just used <laughs> uh, almost all the draconium upgrading uh all of the injectors to Wyvern tier. So if this one takes 50,000, how much does the Mark II take? 115,000? That's more than twice, but it does give 32 times. That's a lot of power. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Holy shizoli. Okay. We're not ready for the Mark II yet. <laughs> um, because I upgraded the reactor to nitro. Um, I also put in some dry ice, but I don't think it's gotten to it yet. It's still burning off the blue ice. I wanted to see what different what difference it made. If it was significant, then I could use it. But this is generating around 80,000 FE a tick. It drops down to like 78, 77, and sometimes spikes up to 80, 86, 87. Um, but I wanted to see what difference uh, the dry ice made. It's about to be, it's about to go <laughs> so I can see. Um, everything's groovy. I did have to throttle that because it was taking more than 50,000 at the tick. Um, uh, if you look at the, uh, the pot, like I do, uh, like looking at the pot, uh, you can see the on the FE bar there, it's varying from 40,000 to 80,000 ish thousand FE a tick. So, um, when I hooked it up, I had the nitro gate on there so it just started eating all the power <laughs> and oh i was like oh my goodness uh it sh completely shut my system down uh, i couldn't even go in to my network because it had no power um so i throttled it by putting an iotic ender gate on there which only transmits uh 40,000 a tick 
So, uh, it's not getting the full 50,000 a tick, but it's still working. <laughs> so, that's good. Um, yeah. So, let's go see if that <clears throat> blue ice has finished off and see if there's a change. And how significant is it? Is it even worth doing? Uh, oh, it's still got a little tiny bit in there. Four, three... Two, and it's about to shut off. Oh. <laughs> it's shut off. And now it's going to wait until it gets down to about 70, and then it'll start up again. Oh man, I would just want to see how, how much the difference is. Because I mean, if it'll bump it up to 100k, it might be worth it. But, if it's not, there it goes. Oh, that did a quite a bit. Ah, I don't see a difference. It's at 88, 87. Because that's going to pretty much double... Uh, double my ice usage. And I haven't gotten the, the dry ice automated, but uh, I did upgrade this to uh, the nitro cable. It's got a nitro gate, and these are nitro um, energizing rods. So <laughs> the dry ice was pretty much instant when I was putting it in, in there. Okay, now it's on. Let's see if it goes down to just under 84 is the lowest so far. It's about to shut down though. This is what I've been doing. I've been well, I've been watching my reactor, uh, observing, <laughs> observing it, uh, to see what it's like, um, because it's new and shiny and it's, uh, not nitro a reactor, it's completely different than the other one. So it looks like maybe 84 is the bottom, whereas, oh look, it went down to 83. Whereas before it would go down, dip down into the 70, like 77 or 78. Well, it went down to 82 now. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know that it's worth it for for that little of an increase. I mean, that's not even 10%. Looks like 82 is the bottom. Anyway, <laughs> um, I was wanting to go into Mechanism uh, and, and do some of those quests, get them knocked out, and maybe learn some. Ooh, I I like those upgrades. I actually use those. An absorption hopper. Those are handy. <laughs> I wish I would have gotten one of those early on. I had to make my own. Oh. <laughs> okay. So, uh, mechanism. I would like to sort of make this end over here, um, our mechanism area, and I'd like to sort of set up a way to automate. Uh, I think I can can do it. It's going to take an extra side, uh, and it'll each machine will have to be dedicated just to producing 
one item, <laughs> one particular item, and then I could get it auto crafted and it would make mechanism so much easier. So maybe we'll get into that today, but I, I have to move these machines. Um, I want to move those and move that and put it over here. It's just, uh, <laughs> um, it's a little bit of a pain because I'll have to take all of these out and put them all back in and then teach it. Uh, oh, I guess I don't have to uh, do that. So that'll be a little bit easier uh, to move over. Also, I made another netherite crafter <laughs> and I moved all of the, there was only like one row in the crafter and I moved it over here and made some new stuff, uh, nitro patterns, um, the energy cable pattern, which is nice, the ender gate pattern, which is also nice. Um, so I would like to try and um, see if I can automate this to produce um, the alloys or the basic control circuits. If I could automate that, that would make it a lot easier because then I could um, request things and then it would just go off to the particular machine and then do its thing. But uh, with each of these, the basic control circuit and the alloy, I didn't say ally this time, um, both of these are made in the metallurgic infuser. If you look at the recipe, uh, it takes osmium for the basic circuit and redstone. Um, and oops, this takes uh, iron and redstone. So I could probably use uh, one machine and I could automate both of those if I just tell it to um, input redstone into there and then I can uh, yeah let's do that because uh, that would be super duper handy <laughs> if I could just tell it to keep you know uh, like a stack of basic control circuits and a stack of, of alloy um, so that I don't have to even wait on it, it's just there. <laughs> that would be awesome. Um, I'm gonna check on this again. Is it producing more yet? It's up to 88,000. I think I'd just rather use the blue eyes. Um, okay, so we're gonna need an exporter. Do I have a handy dandy exporter here? No, but I can make one. I can request it. Um, and we're gonna need some redstone to tell it to pull in. Okay, this is our machine here. I'm gonna have to take this guy out. Um, if I could just put it into the side here, and then tell it to keep redstone. And then, um, side config we'll have to tell it on the right we want the, the yellow there now it's coming in i don't know why that went in there 
but okay. So now it's feeding redstone, which will keep going up until it's full, but we got tons of redstone, so it's not a big deal. Um, now I can auto-craft it and tell it to send osmium or iron over here, and it should make the alloys. So that's gonna be amazing! <laughs> Um, so let's grab an iron, and which one's an osmium? Are you osmium? No, there's silver. You're osmium. Alright, so now we need to do the processing. Uh, I forgot which one's which. Okay, so the basic control circuit. Oops. Okay, the basic control circuit takes the osmium. There we go. And then, oh, clear that out. The alloy takes the iron. So now we can put uh, these guys in here. Uh, I think I would like to keep a couple stacks of these because um, they are pretty common. So if I could just throw those in there now, the system should see it and it should um, automatically start up see what we got over here. It's not bringing anything in. Okay, do I have it? More redstone signal. There we go. There we go. It's doing the thing. Now I should uh, probably put some speed upgrades in here. I think it's already got one. Um, but I don't know how much that is. That should make like a whole nother stack because I only had like 60 in there. So this is super cool. It's working. <laughs> It's working. It has stopped at 63, so nice. Uh, I did it. did the thing. Look, it's going up. Alright, so maybe we need to look into a speed upgrade. Because I definitely... This is what mechanism uses here. What does that take? Sugar and some alloys. Um, I'm missing sugar? Oh, it's osmium dust. It's not sugar. Okay, how do we make that? Um, we do it in the enrichment chamber, which we have. I don't, I don't have the nuggets anymore, so I have to like break down a bar, which we have a crusher now, I think. So let's grab. I don't know how many speed upgrades this will hold. Osmium. So let's just, I don't know, we got tons of osmium, uh, let's crush up a whole bunch. This is the combiner, this is the crusher. Uh, so there we go, that's gonna get us some dust. <laughs> so we can make some speed upgrade. Uh, 
Um, what other kind of, let's do add mechanism. Um, Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Sorry, I had to, my ear was hurting really bad. I don't know what was going on. What, what do we got here? We got energy upgrade. Um, I don't really care about energy efficiency. I got way more power than I know what to do with. Um, I did, speaking of power, I upgraded these guys. Uh, when my power went out, I was like, oh no, I can't have that. So I upgraded all of these to resident integral components and they're now producing 160 RF a tick each. That's times five. Uh, so that's like 800 RF a tick, which is enough to run all of this. It's only 580 a tick. Um, so, <laughs> I need to get some more upgrades, uh, see if there's more power that can be gotten out of that, or I guess I could make some more, because uh, it looks like these are still going up, even though I'm using them in these uh, machines. I think three of them are rubies and two of them are emeralds, sapphires. Whatever happened to the emeralds? They were pretty green. <laughs> uh, okay, so speed upgrades. We should have the stuff now, but what else can it do? We can do a filter. Muffling. Gas. An anchor. I don't really need those, so I think I'll just do speed. I think I'll just do speed. And I have, um, didn't I, I thought I made that. wrong thing. Uh-oh. Uh, I can do it in a pulverizer, but the crusher... Oh, it's still, it's still got it over here. This machine isn't uh, set up to pull in. Okay, so I think that should be enough for now. Make a couple of upgrades. Um, I don't know how many it'll take, so... Let's just make, like, it, it looks like it'll only go up to eight in one stack. Yeah, because I got more. I wanted to make ten, but it wouldn't let me. <laughs> okay, so it's almost done with the iron. So how do we do this? Do I put it in there? It's installing it. Oh, it tells you which ones it supports. Speed, energy, and muffling. Oh, it, it, it tells right here how many it can hold. It can hold up to eight. So, one, two, three. I put, can I just put that in there? There we go. There we go. Ten times speed. Nice. Now look how fast it's going. Oh, that's so much better. <laughs> So it supports muffling, energy, and speed. I don't know, I guess it won't hurt. What is 
does it take to do that? Oh, we might as well upgrade it. So, let's do energy upgrade. Oh, it takes gold dust. <laughs> I thought it was glowstone. It looks like glowstone. Um, so, if we want eight of those, we'll need eight gold. Um, I just heard a loud kaboom and thunder. I'm hoping nothing is on fire. Last time my bolt burned down. Oh, look at how crazy the bolts are rocking. It's just amazing. <laughs> Thunderstorm bad. catch it on fire. So let's go make these energy upgrades. Um, oh, I need dust. I'm assuming that I can put this in the crusher and get gold dust. Hopefully that's the plan. Might as well um, might as well upgrade this guy to help out. There we go. <laughs> Let's get eight of these. it do for these? Uh, it shows energy over here. It's 8k Fe. So let's do upgrades. wonder can you even have both of them going at the same time? Speed, energy, It's all done now. Hmm. Oh, look, it went through really fast. I don't know. Um. I think I'd rather have the speed. Oh, you can take it back out. That's what the little down arrow is. Oh, sweet, it's making more stuff because I just used it. Nice. Okay. <laughs> uh, now that we have those automated, um, we can make uh or we're gonna need like advanced control circuits and advanced I think advanced alloys. Uh, but these take Fused alloys, uh, or actually, um, infused alloys and a basic control circuit. So now that I have those automated, I can 
automates an advanced, I can teach it advanced control circuit, no problem. Uh, so, let's do not processing um, recipe. And we can do the same thing as a requester to tell it to eat two stacks of advanced control circuits. And we can put this guy over here. Where are my other... Oh, the other ones are in the, the doohickey. So now it should start making those up. Yeah, look, it's already got eight in there. Uh, I'm guessing that, I don't know why it's taking so long. Oh, it's making control circuits right now. And it's probably gonna make some more infused alloys. doing stuff <laughs> so so the advanced control circuit is sweet um, yeah there it goes it's making some more awesome <laughs> I love the automation okay so um, these are also used oh I didn't mean that uh, in making another circuit, an upgraded one, this, the elite control circuit. Um, but we need to teach it reinforced alloy. Uh, so we're gonna need another metallurgic infuser, this one filled with diamond dust. Now that's gonna be more of a challenge because we actually have to make diamond dust um, can do it in a uh, crusher or pulverizer uh, it would probably be easier just to use the pulverizer No, I don't think I have an automated pulverizer. I have an automated furnace. So I'd have to set up a pulverizer. I guess um, I, I have this shut down for a moment. Take that stuff out. Um, I believe I have a pulverizer set up over here. There are three different ones, uh, probably with different energy or something. Okay, is that the importer in the back? Good. So we're gonna want to get rid of this guy. And, oh, I wonder, I guess we can just use a regular crafter. I don't have a regular crafter on auto craft. Okay, that we can fix. Oh, one too many R's. Crafter. should know everything else. Now, there we go. No big. And we can put this exporter away. This is the one you have to Oh, look, I got it facing the right way and everything. So, 
um, we can tell it to put dust in or diamonds into here and make dust. Why not put an upgrade in there? Actually, oh, I don't have the stuff to upgrade the components because I just used all of the materials making the ones for the uh, little lapidaries. So we need a diamond. configured to go anywhere. Okay, diamond dust. Oop. Okay, now we can make diamond dust. Um, and now we want to have a requester to keep a couple stacks we're going to need more requesters. I wonder if there are uh, tiers to the requester. I don't know. It doesn't look like it. So we're going to need another requester. So we want to keep a couple stacks of diamond dust in there at all times. Um, and then we're going to need this is a crusher. We're going to need another metallurgic infuser. Do I have one? Metallurgic infuser. Oh, that's nothing. I think I can control click. Control click. Start. I wish it would go back to the original recipe. Awesome. Um, we're also going to need another crafter. Also gonna need three sides. So what is, I'm gonna pick this guy up, and I wonder if it takes the upgrades. I'm sure it does, but I need that gone. That's the importer, so that's good. So let's set that there. Crafter on top. Oop. Sweet. Um, and then an exporter over here. No. Over here, feeding it diamond dust. And then we gotta tell it to go yellow on the side. Extra yellow on the right. No? Did not put diamond dust in there. Good. Let's 
change this to none. Energy, none. I think this is the back, so let's do output. Output is the back. right? Yeah. can't make any dust uh, because I don't have this configured. There we go. There we go. Now it should start filling up. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. We did the thing. Okay, so now we can teach it uh, to send the alloys over there. I know this is taking a long time, but it's totally worth it. It's going to be um, a lot easier to go through the tiers, I think. Uh, so, because uh, making these by hand is a pain. Um, let's put you in there. some speed for that awesome <laughs> um, you got a small upgrade now we need to tell it to keep um, a couple of stacks but this is full so we need another requester um, we might be needing a lot of these, so oh, does it know the detector? should know the crafting table except I'm low on wood oh, let's teach it the upgrade um, and the detector does not know how to make comparators oh my goodness Comparator. Cra 
crafting upgrade. Upgrade, crafting upgrade, redstone comparator. Um, detector. And it should know everything else. Then we can teach it the requester. <laughs> oh. Okay, so we need a redstone comparator. I'll just put that one there. A detector. Upgrade, crafting upgrade, and a requester. I guess I could put these up here. Oh boy. <laughs> um, so now I can get a requester. Where is it? There it is. A requester. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh, I guess I'll put it right here. And we'll want this to go to 128. And then we can just tell it, boom, keep 128 of those. So, what is that called? Reinforced alloy? So now it's starting to make the reinforced alloy for us. <laughs> nice. Um, so that is super cool and amazing. So it should be sending everything down here. It's still filling it up with diamond dust. Oh, that's a, that holds a lot of diamonds. Because each diamond is 10. That's uh, almost a stack of diamonds that's in there. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> um, I guess I didn't really even get, this has all been so I could make mechanism easier to get into at least do a quest mechanism. Um, an energized smelter, an osmium compressor. I already, already have the, like, the ultimate compressor factory. A purification chamber, a combiner, I already have that. Um, let's just see the purification chamber. Okay, um, should have. Oh, I should have. Put that on A. Oh, all we need is an enrichment chamber. Oh, that's an awesome upgrade. steel casing and we need structural glass. Wait. Okay. Steel casing. Um uh, I didn't click on that. So I should have everything for that. That enrichment chamber. Oh, it's making my alloys it's using them right now. Um, I bet I can go back over here and steal some of these. 
Oops, <laughs> I think I messed it up. Um, just so we can finish this. Nice. Nice, we did it. Ring of magnetization. <laughs> okay, so next episode we'll get more into this now that we have the basics down. Uh, it'll go much quicker. Um, I'll just throw these in here for now. And there we go. We're diving deeper into mechanism. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, if you like the episode, leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, anyway, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.